Well, it's almost Christmas, so I wanted to say uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. And because Christmas is coming soon, uh, Santa came early for the Mustang. And I've got some stuff from both National Parts Depot and from uh, CJ Pony Parts. I had to buy the stuff from CJ Pony Parts um, because the, the uh, National Parts Depot is out of stock on those particular items. So... Anyways, if you're interested to see uh, what I bought for the car and uh, the difference in packing methods between the two, stick around. Well, the first one I'm going to open up is the one that I received from CJ Pony Parts. This is the direction it was standing on my porch where it was left. And if you notice, the box seems to be cracked open. And stuff is not secured in there at all you can hear it rocking back and forth so um so we're i'm <clears throat> i'm sort of afraid to see what's in there um but uh let's let's open it up and then we will uh we will take a look actually i'm gonna lay it down so i can open it up so let me put the phone down and we will check it out and it sounds like the stuff is not secured at all in there. And what this is, is um, some door skins. So it's not, it's flexible and all that. So you would think that it would get packed a little bit better, but let's see what it looks like. And it sounds like two it only looks like one so let me let me show you what i got going on here so you saw me flip it open i opened it and this is what this is what i got for uh for preventing damage it's supposed to be two but there's only seems to be one in here oh, oh there's, there's two there are two so I'm gonna put you back on the stand and pull these two out. But as you can tell, they packed it like not very well. Not in my opinion anyways. So I just spent, I don't know, I think a couple hundred bucks to get something shipped to me like this. Yeah, this is not cool, but it is what it is. You would think, yeah, look at the front edge. It's all jacked up, going both directions. One bent this way, this one's bent the other way. And this is a Dynacorn panel. I think that was the other reason I went to them because I could get a Dynacorn panel. And it's a Dynacorn, but it's all jacked up from them, so. Yeah, that's good. Not very, uh... and again, it's a Dynacorn panel, which is why I went to them, but look at this. I got scratches and dents throughout the whole thing. It's like they just threw it in the box, threw a couple of these bubble packs in and said, good luck. So, thanks, CJ. Um, let me look at this edge. Yeah, this one's really jacked right here where the body line is. So. All right, so that was CJ. What I'm gonna do is I'm not doing the doors for a while, but I wanted to, uh, I think I got it on a Black Friday um, sale where you got 20% off or something like that. So I bought them. So I'm gonna pause you, but yeah, just keep this in mind when you order from CJ. All right, so the NPD box that came the same day, it's, uh, it has no obvious issues on the exterior, unlike 
the CJ Pony parts. Um, there's a couple things in there, a little scuff, but uh, it feels pretty damn decent. So um, I think I'm going to lay this one down as well and try and open it from the top. But this is how um, the freight line delivered it, standing up. So, um, yeah, we'll just see. We'll see. Let me let me pause you, get my gloves back on, and we'll lay this down and open it up and see how uh, National Parts Depot packages stuff. They put a big thing on here that said, uh, make sure you check before the freight guy leaves. Um, actually, I was at work and my wife received it. And I said, how's it looking? She said, looks great. So we're, uh, you know, it is what it is, but it looks like a slight amount of care was given to packing it so that it would get to me the way it should come. Huh. Let me bring you over here and look at this. Look at They've got a shitload of packing paper. And then they put cardboard around it to make sure the stuff wouldn't bing and bang around. So, um, I'm going to have to throw away a bunch of paper. I wish we recycled, but, uh, I guess I'll get the CJ box out and put all the paper from the MPD box in there and then I'll show you again where we're at. All right, so I did a little time lapse while I was getting all that paper out. I still haven't got it all out, but just so you can see how they took the time to make sure that everything was separated, things weren't rattling against each other, and it was packaged nicely. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna put you back on time lapse, but as you can see, there's the drop downs, and for the the trunk, I bought the trunk kit because those uh, houses over the frame are just pure uh junk i guess would be the best way to say it but uh look at this it looks like they actually care about their customer so you know i'll get it out the rest of the way but uh I'll let you draw your own conclusions and um so when you go to order stuff you, if you want it to arrive pretty much like it should i'd take a look at these guys So I've sort of gotten down to the bottom and uh, the, I think this paper is underneath along with the bubble wrap of the two quarter panels. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to leave it alone for right now. I just got to figure out somewhere to stuff it in here, sort of run out of space. But uh, as you can tell, these guys, I mean, there's some scratches, but it, it, it just, it looks like. Hey, let's make sure our shit gets to the people. You know? Made in Taiwan, so... Oh, well. I think the Dynacorn stuff's also made in Taiwan, too, so I'm not gonna, not gonna hold it against them, especially after how jacked up my quarter panels are. So, um... As I said, just, uh... Look at all that paper that came out of here. When you when you go to order stuff, you know, I, I've noticed this difference, which is why when I had things come from two different places, I decided to uh, to videotape it just as an information only video. Um, I don't like the idea of being held liable for what I say, but it is free speech and you're all intelligent enough to uh, 
make your own decisions on where to spend your money. So, anywho, that's what I got for today. Hopefully you uh, find this useful. Hopefully you can help me out and put a thumbs up. And, uh, you know, subscribe if you haven't. This is a long-term project. I've been working on it since, I think, April maybe. And we're getting there. We're getting there. There's my cow that's going to go in sometime between now and Christmas. And um, these quarter panels are are pretty uh, jacked up. There's nothing straight on it. I'm going to I'm gonna make a video here soon um, about taking some measurements on this just so I, I think I got it in the right spot. But luckily, the wheelhouses aren't rotten. So when I take these quarter panels off and this rear fascia, I don't think I have to worry about the window sagging. And um, I don't think I'm going to replace this back panel. I think I'm going to try my damnedest to fix it. So anyways, yeah, just remember that. That's a good picture right there. Right there. All right, as always, I really appreciate uh, all the support. So if you can, please give me a like, a share, a subscribe, and um, I'll just keep making these. It's got to help a couple people out there. So uh, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.